Hello, and welcome to a New Year special of Tropecast. And I've decided to pick the, uh, to go through the New Year's resolution tropes. So, our first category in the examples is advertisements. Starting in December of 2017, a series of all-state commercials beating the guy, uh, the guy who is the anthropomorphic personification of all the mayhem that could befall upon you and your property, mostly cars, made a New Year's resolution to end mayhem, for the most part. Despite being the mayhem, he did a good job of keeping his resolution from being a lightning rod of, uh, to the tennis ball you used to park just close enough in your garage. Blank. Anime and manga. In, Tuhu, in the Tuhu manga spin-off, in Arbor <coughs> of the Moon and an arbor of the earth, one series of strips has the residents of Ein Tai discussing their New Year's resolution. Ryson resolves to be more assertive, including being able to say no and telling it like it is. Irene resolves to take it easy more often, which instantly destroys Ryzen's resolution earlier. She had a nightmare where Iren turned into a lazy slob, but she can't work up the nerve to tell Iren that that's why the resolution bothers her so much. And Princess Kagaya resolves to exercise more, but gives up after performing a single stretch. <laughs> Tiwi resolves to be nicer to Ryzen, but then instantly admits that she's just kidding to the amusement of everyone except Ryzen. Comic books. A few Disney Ducks comic universe stories have this theme. In one, Daisy Duck suggested him to promise he'd no longer get angry when he suggested she make a similar promise. The result was a mixture of hypocritical humour and double standard. Donald's nephew then abused the resolution until blank. In another one, Huey, Dewey and Louie promised they'd always make it on time to school and that they'd do the dishes for a whole month as punishment if they break the promise. Donald promised he'd no longer lose his temper. Growing tired of washing dishes, Donald tricked the nephews into being late for school. Wanting to get out of that, they tricked Donald into agreeing they'd have their meals in paper plates. Then they spent the rest of the story trying to enrage him. Blank. In yet another one, Donald and the nephews agree to do the dishes if he breaks his resolution before they break theirs. And they'll do the dishes if they break their resolution before he breaks his. In order to avoid trickery, they kept their resolutions secret and wrote them inside envelopes. Donald promised to only prepare dessert until they have any. And the nephews promised to uh, not to have dessert. A few days later, Donald decided to figure out their promise and found a way to open the envelope without leaving sign. He then changed his resolution. The next day, one of the nephews asked Donald to pose for a photograph, and he agreed. Later on, he tricked them into having dessert so he could punish them. While wondering how he knew what their resolution was, 
they asked him what his was. He then revealed he promised not to wear a hat inside the house. They then pointed out he was breaking his resolution, so he claimed they broke theirs first. One of them remembered Donald wearing his hat inside the house before they broke their resolution. Blank. Fanfic. New Year, New Disasters, an episode of Calvin and Hobbes, the series. Has the protagonist given their resolutions? Calvin's, Calvin's is to upgrade his inventions. Hobbes's is to break the current tuna-eating record. Socrates's to prank four million people. Sherman's is to invent something useful. And finally, Andy's is to pay Calvin's bond. Should he land in jail? Film. Bridget Jones's Diary. Bridget. New Year's resolution. Drink less and quit smoking. And quit talking total nonsense to strangers. Actually, quit talking full stop. Good luck with that. Alfie. Alfie. In a flash, I have my New Year's resolution. Aim higher. Heavenly Creatures, quote from Pauline Parker, My New Year's resolution is a far more selfish one than last year. It is to make my motto, eat, drink and be merry for tomorrow, you may be dead. After the Thin Man, quote Nick Charles, you have made any New Year's resolutions? No, have you made any New Year's resolutions? Nora Charles, not yet. Any complaints or suggestions? Nick. Nick, well, you don't scold. You don't nag. You don't look far too pretty in the mornings. Nora, all right, I'll remember. Must scold, must nag, mustn't be too pretty in the mornings. New Year's Eve. Ingrid Withers makes a list of things she wants to do before midnight, starting with quitting her job. She hires someone to help her fulfil it, with such diverse items on it as go to Bali, travel around the world, and be amazed. Okay, we don't need to read any more quotes, so live action TV. Frasier episode, The Fight Before Christmas. We're not just, we're not going to keep reading lines of dialogue from these things. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air episode, Hillary Gets a Life. Friends, the one with all the resolutions sees each of the gang make a resolution. Rachel's is not to gossip. As much, she fails. Monica's is to take more photographs of the gang. Phoebe's is to pilot a commercial jet. She gives up after one visit to the airport, having decided she doesn't want to fly in the rain. And the rest of the gang decide Chandler's is not to make fun of them as much. He lasts roughly three days. <clears throat> Joey's is to learn to play the guitar. And Ross's is to do one thing each day to make himself happy, such as asking a woman out and buying some leather pants. They mean trousers, by the way. He's always admired. The X-Files. How the Ghost Stole Christmas. Agent Mulder tries to walk Agent Scully, t tries to talk Agent Scully into chasing ghosts on Christmas Eve. She doesn't want to go. When Mulder enters the haunted house, she says aloud to herself that she's not going to do it, as it's her resolution. However, somebody, Mulder, or the ghosts, 
took her car key, so she ended up with Mulder as usually. Okay. TV Colosso. Priscilla, a producer working at the eponymous network, wasn't sure what to promise, and it worried her for a whole episode. At the end, the network fortune teller predicted nobody would fulfill their resolution, so she decided not to make any. El Chavo de Onto. One episode had the Venture Dad's residence having a New Year's party at Don Ramon's place. Donna Florinda promised she'd no longer hit him unless she had reasons like Don Ramon or Ramon hitting Quito or denying doing so. She also promised she'd no longer act as if she's superior to any of her neighbours. Albeit the wording of her promise suggests it's unlikely she's able to fulfil it. Quico promised to always allow El Chavo to borrow his toys. Chavo doubted Quico would help that resolu- would keep that resolution. Quico explained correct me if I'm misreading these that his resolution was based on Chavo usually kicking his toy, so Chavo promised he'd no longer do it. Quico then allowed Chavo to borrow a ball. Don Ramon promised to pay all his debts. Dona Florinda then said it was only about resolutions that could be fulfilled. Like she's one to talk. One episode of NCIS Los Angeles opened with the team discussing their New Year's resolutions and ended with them calling each other out on the fact that they all broke them. Yeah, because that's a, that's a common thing in television, right? Carmen Ryder Deno had an episode where the heroes are preparing for New Year's complete with resolutions. Kentaros asks Riatoro what his resolution is, and Riatoro says that he wants to continue fighting alongside his friends. When the bad guys attack later in the episode, Kentaros reveals that he counted Riatoro's resolution as a wish which granted him physical form, allowing him to become Deno without Riotaro's help, so he can pull a you-shall-not-pass moment or <laughs> for the others. The Adventures of Pete and Pete In New Year's Pete, Little Pete resolves to buy a jetpack and use it to become a superhero. He spends all year earning the money, but gets a leaf blower in the mail. The people around him make more mundane resolutions that they don't keep. Literature. In one of the babysitter's little sister books, Karen spends the month of January cracking down on all the members of her family who haven't been keeping up their New Year's resolutions, but they retaliate by pulling out Karen's own list of resolutions which has been heavily altered to give herself loopholes. Nah, that's not the point. (laughs) Okay. Music. Five Iron Frenzies, New Year's Eve. It's New Year's Eve and I'm... Full of empty promises, I half pretend to keep this time, just like last year. Split ends, message to my girl. It's no New Year's resolution, it's more than that. Calvin from, this is newspaper comics. Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes often made his New Year's resolution not to change at all, but to force everyone else to change. 
Okay. Lucy from Peanuts. That's Lucy Van Pelt, by the way. Also did that at least once. She handed out sheets of paper from the first from the January first, nineteen sixty strip. Schroeder. Why do we have to make our resolutions right on January first? What's wrong with May sixteenth or September twenty third? Why January first? It's neater. And also because it's not entirely a new year if you make it more than halfway through the year. New Year's resolution. Now, unless you begin your new year on any of these other days, May 16th or September 23rd, it doesn't count. <laughs> okay. In for better or for worse, the Pattersons discuss what resolutions they are making, but while most are setting up lofty ones, Michael resolves to do things like watch more TV and hang out more with his friends. When his mother confronts him that those resolutions are worthless, Michael responds smugly, I know, but at least mine are going to be kept. Oh dear. In one Foxtrot strip, bratty teenage daughter Paige tells her parents that her resolution is not to let annoying younger sibling Jason, her brother, anymore. Then Jason. tells them that his resolution is to mess with Paige even more. Father Roger comments, This is going to be a real battle of wills, while Mother Andy breaks out the medicine and says, More like pills. In an earlier strip, Paige resolved to be more assertive and less wishy-washy. Full steam ahead? She then asks her mother if the resolution is stupid and says she can change it, prompting Andy to respond, Let's back up those steam engines a bit. Garfield decided not to sleep more than eight hours a day. Upon calculation, he told John to wake him up on May 3rd. Garfield promised not to do this prank anymore, but he's not sure he'll keep the promise. John promised to brush his teeth every day. Even if he's not going anywhere, John and Garfield resolve to not to eat donuts anymore. After each one hallucinated a donut, asking him to eat it, they decided to break the resolution. Well, a lot of these now are Garfield related. John's resolution. No more thumb sucking. Except during scary movies. That goes without saying. Garfield resolves to sleep, to stop eating junk food and exercise every day, and to curb my incessant lying. A spider promises to think before he speaks, and then blows it up by calling Garfield Fatso. Garfield makes the same resolution he makes every year, not to mess with perfection. Three weeks after giving up donuts for the New Year's resolution, Liz hallucinates that John's face looks like a donut. Okay. Garfield doesn't have any resolutions this time because you can't improve on perfection. He then facts his face on the wall. In retail, they once had a week of New Year's resolutions not so much made to improve the employees as it was forced on them by the corporate environment. Example, Heather's resolution to lose weight. 
is because she can't afford as much food because her hours got cut. Val's makeover to a more flattering hairstyle came about because of a New Year's resolution. Myla resolves one year to not make any resolutions. Well, that's a resolution in and of itself. Okay. Um. <laughs> Not a very good one, though, mine. And then one year, Val's resolution is to get milk and bread. Uh, what? What kind of resolution is that? Print media. Mad Magazine had a black comedy article. Harry Gresper's New Year's Resolutions, 1962 to 1972, that shows the downward spiral Harry's life is in, as his resolutions get more and more modest, and he fails to keep them. For instance, in 1962, he resolves to finish 20 good books a year, in 1965, 10 good books a year. In 1969, 5 books. In 1972, he resolves to finish airport. Web comics. The practice of making New Year's resolutions for other people is discussed in this dinosaur comic strip. The cast the sequential art tend to amend their list quickly. See the next two comics. Cyanide and Happiness presents... Hmm, maybe next year. The Optimist resolves to do it... To do or not do things every 365 days or so. Here and here. In Simfest, Big D almost... Ha also has one, Monique's Just Keep the Status Quo. Web Original. TV Trash Parodies. This concept in Happy New Year, Charlie Brown. Chris Rowdy Moore. Pledges to watch less bad TV. Only to have his resolution broken within seconds. By being told that they would run out of material. And the show would end. Wong Fu Productions roughly mocks this trope in two weeks later resolution fails and how each person fails at their resolution. In one of Thomas Sanders Vines he shows that he did keep his resolution simply to write one out. His friend notes that this was an improvement from the previous year. Okay, and Western Animation. Wish Kids. After surviving a disaster, Daryl tells Nick he decided to make his New Year's resolution earlier. They were months away from the New Year, never getting involved in Nick's wish again. The New Batman Adventures, episode Holiday Night. And okay, it's just a line from the Joker in the episode. We're not going to read that. Happy New Year, Charlie Brown, as mentioned above. Okay, have you made any New Year's resolutions, Chuck? Yes. You know how I always dread the whole year? Well, this time I'm only going to dread one day at a time. Dr. Doofenshmirtz once tried to make over the tri-state area by making everyone's New Year's resolu le resolution to obey him. Blank. The 1961 Heckle and Jekyll cartoon, Sappy New Year, has the two birds swearing off practical jokes as their New Year's resolution. But when their attempts to do good deeds are miscon <laughs> misconstrued as mischief, Heckle starts to revert back. 
the Sonic Boom episode, New Year's Retribution, involves Dr. Eggman trying to resolve his New Year's resolution from the previous years to beat Sonic at something before the year ends. To do so, he invents a slow motion machine to slow down time, so he will have plenty of time to beat Sonic at something before the year ends. In a few Robot Chicken sketches, the New Year baby appears and literally kills everyone that fails to up that hell fails to uphold their resolution. And there you go, guys. That's it for this New Year special. Of. Trope cast. The regular episodes will return. We're still at beginning tropes. And we'll go under the F section of that next time. Until then. Thank you all. For watching. And happy new year to you.